You know, it's perfectly natural for anybody to want to get the best deal they can for the lowest cost and the least effort, and that's certainly true in health affairs as well. Well, let me tell you, we can sure thank our research scientists for making that possible for us in a lot of ways. One such example of these gifts from our researcher friends is the application of fiber optic science to create the laparoscope. I'm sure you've heard or read about fiber optics being used in a variety of ways. What exactly am I talking about? In the simplest of terms, thousands of tiny clear glass fibers are bound together to form sort of a flexible cable that readily conducts light. The first laparoscopes were invented to try to deal with abdominal organ diseases without having to do a formal operation but it was hard to get enough light down through this rigid tube to be able to see enough to do anything of value. However, with the very brilliant lighting that is now possible, a great new non-operative technique was invented with lots of potential. Like, for instance, in pelvic organ disease, there are three principal uses of the laparoscope. One, to diagnose masses that are not supposed to be there. Two, deal with infertility problems like adhesions or endometriosis. And three, tubal pregnancies either before or sometimes after they rupture. And we'll talk more about them next time. For the University of Texas Health Science Center, Houston, I'm Dr. Red Duke.